Let's just go. All right. Um, I'm the managing director of Haranga Resources. Um, prior to this, uh, my uranium experience is that I was the. Uh, this is working. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my experience is I was the managing director that pegged the licenses for Bannerman Resources in the last uranium boom. And uh, I took that up. When I left there, we had 137 million pounds of Alaskite uranium in, um, in Namibia. I joined Haranga in September uh, looking for a uranium project and I'd been talking to the Haranga people for 12 months before I joined. What impressed me was that Haranga had a real project. Uh, we're operating in Senegal in West Africa and the project there has mineralisation. It had been discovered in the 60s by the French Kojima. They drilled it from the 60s to the 80s, then walked away. Uh, they came back in the form of a Riva in 2007 and then they drilled that again till 2011. They didn't walk away until after Fukushima. So no one put the data together and Haranga has. So uh, shortly after I joined Haranga um, in October we uh, published the maiden mineral resource estimate for Soraya in Senegal and it's 12 million tonnes at 587 ppm for 16 million pounds. Now the good thing about that is that it sits within a 25 kilometre corridor of uranium anomalism and it is the first deposit in that corridor. It may also be the only one but if it is 16 million pounds is the start. It's open in all directions. It's open a long strike, it's open down dip, it's open down plunge. Uh, I believe we can quite easily grow that resource just by drilling. Most of the drilling which is done by Kojima is above 160 metres depth and the Areva stuff drilled down to about 240 proving that mineralisation continues at depth. Uh, so uh, we are about to start drilling next week and we will look to extend that. We've also got metallurgical samples that just arrived in Canada last week uh, to do some ore characterisation work on that. Our resource is 100% inferred at this point, but we expect that it will grow uh, and it will be upgraded to indicated and inferred so that we can then start wrapping some economic parameters around it and come up with an idea of what our future is going to look like. As I said, it sits inside a 25 kilometre corridor of, of anomalism. Um, in Senegal, in West Africa, uh, we use termite mound sampling to get below uh, a blanket of laterite that we have which, uh, which obstructs the radiation from coming to the surface. Soraya itself was discovered that it's sitting in an erosional valley so the laterite has been eroded away and it was uh, accessible by radiometrics. So we use a termite mound sampling and we have numerous uh, anomalies within the termite mound sampling that we need to, um, we need to follow up. Our process, four stage process, is we do regional termite mound sampling, infill termite mound sampling. Uh, if we get a tight anomaly from the infill termite mound sampling, we then go and drill it with an auger drill. And that auger drill, if it comes up with a, a saprolite anomaly, then that becomes an RC drill target. So we do have, uh, we now have nine termite mound anomalies. Uh, and out of those, we have two that have shown up with auger anomalies. As I said, the RC rig will start next week. Um, it did a few holes before Christmas, but we then had a break. Um, so it will actually drill at Soraya, our deposit, uh, before moving on to the auger mound anomalies. So we also have a gold project in Senegal, uh, but we're focusing on uranium. Senegal, I need to explain I've found since I've joined the company I need to explain people that Senegal is a West African country but out of the countries in West Africa Senegal would be the pick. The World Bank in their report um, notes West Africa, uh, Senegal in West Africa is the safest uh, investment destination of a West African country and it is a modern uh, society and it's pro-mining. My, uh, my drilling permits took two weeks to get. I know 
I'm an ex I'm a geologist from Western Australia and I know that two weeks is what we did 30 years ago. Uh, you don't do that anymore. So it is pro-mining, uh, it is a modern country, there's uh, at least four Western-owned gold mines operating in the country. You can get reagents in, you can get the material out. So um, the message from Haranga is that we have a real project, we have a deposit which we can expand and we also have the opportunity for more than one deposit um, and uh, the, the grade of the deposit is 587 ppm. It's not in the percentages that you get in the Athabasca but if you compare that to other African hard rock uranium mines like Rossing, it's twice the grade of Rossing, uh, it's three times the grade of Bannerman. So it's a healthy grade, it's a grade that can be exploited and we're working towards that. So I think we, we've got a real project and we've got a real future. So thank you.